Mr. Morgan. <laughs> he has earned cheap. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's gone out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children. Dying of diseases? No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Favor, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well... Just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict, especially with Eagle Flies now imprisoned at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back scene. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. 
You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still abandoned. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Abandoned or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so.
Mr. Mason? Oh, oh, Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, it's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh! Oh! Ah! Damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. Good luck, sir. Although, as we both know, I'm the one who needs it. The photographs. What are you gonna do with them? Find somewhere to exhibit them, I guess. I should hope you'll come and view them. Sure will. If, uh... If I can. Yeah. Yes? Uh, I'm, um, uh, uh... Sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes. Please, uh, Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea, huh? Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. 
I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have truly broad democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Opinions can change, can they not? Oh, they change all the time. Of course. The power of reason is not to be underestimated. Reason. Well, that's one word for it. Good, good. You do not look so much like a rhetorician, but uh, Monsieur Lemieux has placed his faith in you. Well, looks can be deceiving. The mayor understands just what I can do, I'm sure. Morning. Go to the right up here. What's wrong with you? The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur, there! No. What's his name again? Officer Shiftaker. Wait here, girl. Got it. Morning. Professor? Excuse me. Ah. Hello? The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now, I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. You change your mind yet? I, I couldn't. My reputation. What's your reputation now? I, I, I'd never be published again!
You see, Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, I... You know I'm right, Professor. Please do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Um... Because otherwise... I'll be in New Haven. No, no, we don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Look out. So, turns out, all those paintings were real after all. <sighs> Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Here. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. Morning, sir. Hey, folks. Hello. Not a bad town you got here. Oh, I know. Howdy. Joseph. <laughs> 